Hey everyone, Uwu here. Thank you guys for joining in uh, on the SPL West YouTube channel. Unfortunately, this isn't going to be showcasing any of our players for this video, but we do have a nice little glitch and then a great mod by Frontez for Slapshot that uh, I'll give you guys a little tutorial and then you can download the plugin in the link below. So first we want to start in Freescape for this nice little glitch. What we need to do is get that Gatorade bottle off of the net. I'm going to fast forward here because it's takes me a little while to get it off. Uh, the fun thing about this is you'd be able to just free skate anywhere, go throughout the walls and everything like that, and just dribble, practice dribbling, especially with the mod, you can toggle on or off uh, the, the dash, so you can keep going however far that you want and just practice switching back and forth. So here we go, we get the bottle off the top of the net. We're gonna bring this bottle back to the white line. And I like to set this up as a backhand shot, it's just, the most consistency that I found. Once we get it there, spawn as many pucks as you can. See there, it starts deleting suddenly there's too many entities in. So I'm bringing this up just past the white line. Backhand and try to get it straight onto the goalpost. This one wasn't quite high enough to get the bottle out of the either skybox or if you get it past the walls, it also glitches out. So there we go. The rink's gone. The pucks are gonna fall through the rink. If the pucks go up into the air, they'll typically fall through like those two. Uh, if they just slide along the ground, so if you're just trying to dribble around everything like that, practice your deckies, uh, then it's going to be pretty pretty beneficial for you. You're not going to have a wall that you can run into, so you can go pretty much anywhere, especially for those new people. But it's just kind of a little Easter egg, I guess. You can do this on pretty much any map, so here I'm doing it on the... Ooh, what is this called? The obstacles, I believe. And then everything still works that's on the rink. Those cones fall through the floor. And then you can actually get behind these little barriers here. And then if you're like me and you're lonely, you have a friend to play with. All right, now into the mod, we have our Q key, which is pull puck. So in this, I'll show you guys just to practice some saves and things like that. You can do this. You can try to practice this to get the puck and your consistency down to get it all the way to the net. You can also practice those one-time shots. So backhand or front hand where you pull that puck and the farther away the puck is from you, the faster it'll come towards you is what I've kind of gathered from my experience. And then the closer you are to the puck, the slower. So farther away, faster puck, closer, slower puck. You can practice these to try to get some crazy shots. I've noticed that going diagonal so the pass coming diagonal is a lot easier to try to put it in but this is just good practice because before this we weren't really able to practice those passing shots we can also spawn the puck with g it just spawns it on your head anywhere that you are and then you can play from there and then the unlimited dash is super beneficial so if i press v it's going to toggle the dash right there so the dash doesn't go down so you can just practice dribbling and everything like that so thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, I guess the standard default thing to say is uh, like and subscribe. Support your SPL West players and everything like that. Hopefully we'll be putting up more highlight videos for everyone around. And if Frontez updates this mod a bit more, uh, we can do a bit more videos on different mods and things like that. Thank you guys for joining and watching.